Hello, this is a uh, teardown of the <clears throat> InMotion V8S battery. As you can see from the label here, it is a 72 volt battery, 320 watt hours, and the input voltage is 84 volt. So let's go and tear this up. First, quickly check the voltage. Nothing. I wonder if you can see that. And then let's check out the charge port. So it's nothing. So I don't have much hope for this battery. It's mostly just for curiosity's sake to see what's inside. All right, let's remove the cover. Looks like there's two heat shrinks here. This one. Alrighty. All right. Let's remove this captain tape. Yep, 72 divided by 3.6, 20, 20S. 20 20S, 2 parallel, 40 cells. Okay. Um, I guess I can try testing them individually just for shits and giggles. Huh, I got 67.4. 67.4. But there's nothing coming out of the BMS. Three point four. So every cell is actually a good condition. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll break it down further, but I'll need to. I kind of want to preserve this BMS and these cell holders. And then I don't know if you can just order the BMS itself. It might not be worth it. it. Might just be better just to buy a brand new battery. In most cases it is, or the only choice. But um, I mean, yeah, you could just buy a, a generic, you know, circular, rectangular BMS, wire it up, and then this would work. But then, of course, it needs to talk to their electronics and their charger. So that won't work. So I'm wondering if this is worth time. But in any case, it's nice to look at. I could just cut everything off. Look at it. But this is what you get. sensor right here there is the BMS oh it's for a V5 not a V8 beef or maybe it is for the V8 I'm not sure it's a V5 battery board fuse is still there all the connections look look good Data wire here. 
XD60, balance probably. Okay. Here's the underside of it. And there's the other side of the nickel strips behind the BMS capture. And then here's the top side. Here's the other side. And here's the curb side. I'll remove these nickel strips, salvage this battery pack or these cells uh, off camera. But all of these tested fine. Okay, so here's a result of the V5F dismantling. I don't know, it's missing a few cells here. I don't know where they are, but these are the ones that came from it. They look like Eve cells, or they are Eve cells actually. 26, 2.55 amp hours. So, just going to test a random bunch here on the resistance meter. Uh, stop moving. You get 26 milliohm, mega, milliohms. 3.58. 26 milliohms, 4.05. And 26, 3.65. Voltages are, these are just random as you can see. Slightly different, but not a huge amount. 3.64, 25. So they all pretty much tested like that. And I capacity tested a, a few. I'm getting around the, the, the rated volt, the rated amp hour. So this uh, broken battery pack actually had all good cells in it so the bms was the issue i would like to see if i can fix that but uh that will be on another time i'm not even sure yet if it's worth my time but that's the results of the v5f battery dismantling